Evans back to McGrow. He'll fire the triple, and it's nothing but nylon for the senior. His first triple goal, and the Cherokees have their first lead of one. Two minutes to go. A sleeper looks back with Coach Randy Casey to get the signal. Lane and Hodder took an extra step, and here's the first sub for Cleveland. Leaper will exit, and it'll be number 12, LJ Adams, the 6'3 junior. That's back to a three-point game. Now Evans, though, answers back and gets the end one opportunity coming his way. He's down, and he can up catch them. And there it is, the third foul on Gabe Leaper. A little bit of a game set of high screen. Evans even. Now a feed across the lane to Hayden Smith, and a great job on the give and go. 14 apiece and under five to play in the second quarter. We'll be back with a 30-second timeout. Back in 30 seconds. Did you know that All Things Exterior has the largest collection of vinyl siding and metal roofing in this area? Hi, I'm Buffy Jones, inviting you to stop by and see how we can help with your construction or home improvement project. Our prices are competitive and no job is too big or small. Many colors are available within one to two business days. Micah and I have nearly 20 years of experience, so we know the end. Pump fake gets free, baseline jumpers, <laughs> nothing but net there for Tucker Monroe. Steps inside, kicks out the peak, he'll pop the triple, and it's there. nothing but nylon. There we go. 45 to play, 1917. Brooks across the toe in the air. Baseline feed to Hester. His three this time oh, is battled in and good. Five points for the senior. Cherokees lead it. Five the ball game. 250 to go. Here's Brooks gets to the exit to Hester. Smith sets the screen up a free throw line. Hester gets free to the left side. Lays it in off the glass with the right hand as well here. Early. Here's Monroe. Pull up from 15 feet. Nothing but net again. That's been his most consistent shot this year. That little jumper driving in the lane and pulling up. Go, but they hold a seven-point lead. Finally took the lead at about the 345 mark at 19 to 17. Away from Cleveland, who had had the lead at 17. Makes the first free throw here. And he gives up 
It was getting pretty close. Yep. It's going to be a 30 second timeout. We'll just stay here with you through this. Coach Tucker had been yelling for Cleveland to foul for the last 30 seconds. Cleveland fans are packing it up. They are making their way to the exit. They will start for the first time since we've seen them. Number three, Camden Gober, a six-foot senior guard. Number three, he's averaging postseason right now for him. Number five, Judas Salt, 6'5", senior forward. The district MVP of the regular season, Alex Heider, a 6'3", sophomore forward. 23, Dave Leeper, a 6'1", senior. Syracuse, his second year assisted by Drew Hahn and Jay Johnson. And Raymond Dills down at the bench. 46 years. 46. He's got three more, he said, so we'll see. It's going to be double zero. Hayden Smith, the district tournament MVP, 6'4", senior post. Number one, Tucker Monroe, 5'10", sophomore guard. And 15, Dayton Hester, the 6'2", senior guard. And men County, their home white uniforms tried to avoid the contact there at the end. Maybe that's what helped him get the favorable blocking call. He was in Walker Valley the other night getting the start here. But Monroe for McMinn County, Tucker Monroe, he passed Brooks. Bounces it out to Hester, corner three for Kate. Woo! Hester is good. Outstanding corner and Salt. Outside of his body, so he's having attempted a really good shot. Found by Salt. Salt loses the handle. Evans strips him of it. Great handle by Damian. Different player, or all-tournament player. Here's Smith in transition. Nice assist by Damian Evans. It's going to be an and one opportunity for Hayden Smith. Cleveland fans chanting their team on defensively, but it's the Cherokees. They're going to pull the three. Trent Beat from way downtown on that one. Woo! And that's going to end. Big three there right at the end of the quarter. Smith couldn't pull the trigger quick enough. Touch pass from Smith out to Evans. Three-pointer by Davion Evans. 
is nothing but net. He's finally into the scoring column by Cleveland. Here's Hester, another corner three. Nothing but net for the senior, his second of the ball game, 33 to 17. Carrick to the left side of the floor. Keeps his dribble, goes up, little scoop, and it's good for Trent carrying the ball here tonight. Hester comes all the way from the top of the key off the handoff, and some 27 to go. A little pick and roll. Smith able to adjust off the deflected pass. A little hook shot in the lane is good for Hayden Smith. He gets Hyder free on the right side. Coach Casey pleading for the moving screen call. Now a take inside here by T. Great pass on the back. Here from McCunny High School. Upper deck filling up. Seconds to go. Frazier with it against Salt. Pull up three. It's nothing but that for Reese Frazier. Cherokee pulls out a huge first half, leading this one by 14. Hester goes inside the arc, spins, a little touch off the glass for Caden Hester. Casey on that one, Frazier just creating that contact. Frazier taking it to the hole. Frazier's first one is good, he's at nine. And you know the players keep the Brooks off the mark. Frazier comes flying in for the rebound for the Cherokees. Sends it left side, Monroe for another three. This time it's good for Tucker Monroe. He's got six, 25 seconds, extra pass. Peaks wide open, so he'll take the three, and he drills it. Trent Peak with his first three here in the second half. Puts the Cherokees at six. He couldn't get the call there. Frazier will. He's trying to get the shot off, but yeah. I think he's kind of off a little bit of control. Frazier with the steal for the Cherokees. Corner three for Hester. It's in there for Caden Hester. He's at 16. Looks like he's trying to stretch out the cap there. And who was that foul on? Missed it completely. Very good instinct. And you know, that's what it takes a lot of times. You've got to anticipate what's going to happen to get in that passing lane. Smith makes the first free throw. He's at 12 points from McMinn County. And another double double bounce for the point guard. Evans gets to the right side, sends it across the lane to Hayden Smith for 15 to 5. Peak deflects the pass in front of Leaper. He's got a fast break, goes up to the left side, and gets the lane in. Trick Peak having himself a night. He's at 19 14. Count on us. To find a primary care provider, visit StarRegional.com and click on the Find a Doctor tab. Jones Hill Clark Pharmacy has both the standard flu vaccine and the new high dose flu vaccine recommended for patients age 65 and over. Evans is back to the line. 32 years since they have done this. Coach Tucker calling it off. He says we're not going to foul with 19 seconds to go. Standing ovation from everybody in black and gold. Four peaks tonight. Their keys will get it slapped out of bounds there. It'll stay with them here. They're going to inbound it short to their keys. 32 years. They get a huge region championship, joint district championship, and the district regular season. It's huge time for the black and gold of McKean County and what they've accomplished this season. Randy Casey's second season. Timber FDIC. Back here at McMinn County High School, Cherokees. It's been 32 years. We said that about the district championship, but this one does hold true. The 30 championship black, they've already added to the trophy case out front here in the hallway in front of the gymnasium. And the Cherokees will celebrate players at midcourt with it here on their home floor. And that's just huge for this senior oh, class as well, Amy. To, he, I mean, he's a cog in this wheel oh, along definitely. with Coach Casey, Drew definitely. Hahn, and Jay Johnson. As these young men have done what has taken them 32 years for this program to do. And that is win the region championship and get to host a sub-state game once again here, at least for the room and the atmosphere that came here tonight. And it's just an outstanding job by this McMinn County team. Can't say enough about them. And the and hats off to this Cleveland team. They are a, a oh, tough an physical team. team. One of the biggest covered in the area. Their, their location closer to Chattanooga gets them a lot of press, more so than McMinn County, but it's both of them deserve it. And, you know, we made – more turnovers there in the second half, you know, but we were able to still play good defense and being able to score with it. I don't think that hurt us as bad as it does look on paper. That's exactly right. And I kind of flash back to a couple of key plays. Davion Evans getting his hand on some balls as well that, that really kind of set up some fast break points for the Cherokees. 
to to kind of start making a little bit of some runs there against this Blue Raider team that they know is tough. Cherokees get 14 points in that final frame compared to the, uh, let's see, it was nine for uh, the Blue Raiders in the final frame. But Cherokees had really, the first, the second quarter is what kind of did Cleveland in. McMinn County outscoring them 24 to 17 in that one. I mistakenly had said seven earlier, but I had my numbers off. Amy helped me correct that one. But as Hayden Smith is trimming the net there, and they're going to cut that one down and Hopefully got a couple to replace for Monday night. If not, I know they'll take care of finding them and hanging them back up. But And what an awesome opportunity. I was yeah. thinking about this earlier today. You know, this is something that when they, there's class reunions and things like that, these guys come back and talk about. They exactly. talk about yep. the region championship. They talk about the district championship. Well, they're going to talk about whatever happens Monday night. You know, these are the things you just don't forget and how special that is for this team to be a part of that. And think of, you know, you think about how hard they've worked to get to this point. And, and it's not like every team's not connected, but you also think winning helps your team chemistry. This team is unbelievable as far as being connected. But the bond it will just strengthen throughout their years as you're talking about coming back. You're going to, you're going to, stay in touch with these guys probably more often than you probably would when you go through something like this and what they've been able to accomplish. You, you think back to those teams in the 90s, Ronnie McMahon and those guys. They, and those guys are so close. Connected. I mean, I know several of the He was here back in the day, and, and so a lot of them coming back, as we mentioned, Jawan Smith's in the house. I don't know where he's at He's now, over there but, under okay, the goal where they're cutting down the net. There you go. So he's right there with them. And, again, 2011 is the last time the Cherokees did it. They beat this Cleveland team in the region finals over in Ray County. Got to do it here on their home floor tonight against this Cleveland Blue Raider team that has been outstanding under Coach Reggie Tucker and his tenure there. And Randy Casey in his second year, he's got his guys poised to make a run towards Murfreesboro, but it's win or go home on Monday night. The net, a lot of fans are still here. Future I, Cherokees on the floor out here <laughs> running yes, around. Yes, definitely. The, the, everybody's kind of circled around the three-point line, you know, with the ladder in the middle there. So uh, while we wait on Coach Casey, let's go ahead. Let's take a 60-second uh, a break, and then we'll come back here from McMinn County High School. We'll take a 60-second break and then come back after this one's wrapped up. Back in 60. Did you know that All Things Exterior has the largest selection of vinyl siding and metal roofing in this area? Hi, I'm Buffy Jones, inviting you to stop by and see how we can help with your construction or home improvement project. Our prices are competitive and no job is too big or small. Many colors are available within one to two business days. Micah and I have nearly 20 years of experience, so we know the industry. And we have professional installers who can get the job done right. We're located at 723 Congress Parkway South in Athens. All Things Exterior, your one stop shop for vinyl siding, roofing, and more. Now's the best time to take precautions against the flu. Madison Avenue Pharmacy, your independently owned Health Park Pharmacy, has both the standard flu vaccine and the new high-dose flu vaccine recommended for patients age 65 and older who may have weaker immune systems. With a twindemic of both COVID-19 and flu expected this season, it's also a good time to sign up for the new bivalent Moderna booster. Madison Avenue Pharmacy, open 9 to 6 Monday through Friday, 9 to 1 on Saturday, 1001 West Madison Avenue, Athens. Health Mart, taking the time to listen and to care. Back here at McMinn County High School where the Cherokees win this one 74-55 to bring home the region championship. It doesn't have to go far, just out the hallway into the trophy case it will go. And I can guarantee you they might even do that tonight, but they'll at least there's going to be a few guys carrying it around. Uh, they've passed it down the way, but they're cutting the nets on their home end of the floor, which is the far end of the gymnasium. Um, if you're listening at home, so they are. And in honor of us winning this region championship, we don't have school tomorrow. Hey, there you go. Well, it's, the, it's not really because of that no, reason, but not. we're not having school. So some weather coming in, so it'll at least let everybody get a good night's rest after after this one. And the Cherokees, I think everybody now, the coaching staff, they're going to put Raymond Dills up there. He's going to get him a piece of the net. Jay and Drew, and then going to help him out. Juwan Smith going to hold the ladder for him and. You talk about a man. I know our buddy Johnny Kaufman. I don't know if he's still here or if he's listening on the way home, but Johnny is a guy that spent 47 years roughly calling these games. He's seen a lot of history. Raymond Dills is another one that's seen a lot for this McMinn County program and been a part of a lot of it because he takes a couple of snips for the scissors. And, and then we've got some photos. cheering and a speaker with some music. I'm not sure what all this is. Uh, the, the party has started here at midcourt. 
Well, uh, again, McMinn County will host either Blackman or Laverne on Monday night from their home floor at 7 o'clock. We'll have that broadcast for you here. And at the half, just scoring update right now, they're, they're close one. 23 for Blackman, 21 for Laverne. So if that score, if that lead holds for them, it would be McMinn County uh, hosting Laverne on Monday night and Cleveland traveling to Blackman. That's where the Lady Cherokees unfortunately lost last year in the sub-state. Blackman notorious for some great programs there in the Murfreesboro area. As Drew Hahn goes up the ladder to get it. Again, the Cherokees get the 26 and 8 on the season. Cleveland, they're 24 and 9, or 23 and 9. After the game on Monday night, they will play potentially either March 14th. That's a Tuesday. Starts next week on Tuesday. The team that was probably punching their ticket from the local area here as Coach Randy Casey finishes it off for the Cherokees on the net there. So he'll be making his way to us right. in just and a we, few moments. You know, we do have a couple of local girls teams yep. trying to get their way there. The Central. Central McMinn Central girls McMinn, play. And then uh, Meigs Saturday. County. And Meigs County goes to Gatlinburg Pittman on Saturday night. Central will host Alcoa. That's a rematch they've played several times recently. And so the Cherokees will be on the guy side. Hey, on right there. <laughs> Good job, Hey, go, hey, go, hey, go, hey, yeah, you got to put it behind it. Let, it. let it go all the way down, Smitty. There you go. Behind it. Let hey, it go all the way down. That's good enough for me. Baby, you know how I get. I know some hard girls. I can speak that order and talk that word. I ain't even starting to feel the pussy. I got signs on this cement. Bust your head for real. I push it. Give me that. And then I'm going to get that. Four up on them. I took all them. I took all them. I do this all the time. I started selling this stuff to you, and you guys were saying, okay, and then you, everybody bought in, and you guys, now you, you notice that I'm a cheerleader. You know, I'm a cheerleader now is what I am. And I told you this yesterday. Bad teams, nobody leads. Good teams, coach leads. Great teams, players lead. And that's where we are. You understand that? That's where we are. Now, we're going to enjoy this one tonight. 
We're going to enjoy it tomorrow, Monday, and go to the big house. Yes, what sir. you say? Yes, sir. Now, you understand, you understand, we are 32 minutes from the top of the mountain. Yes, sir. You understand that? Yes, sir. We are. Let's celebrate right here. Let's go. Nobody else Don't Nobody else 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 Hagewood, a 6'2 senior guard. Number 12, Zayat Lenore, a junior guard, averaging 10 in the postseason. And number 30, Cameron Samuels, a sophomore. On the other side, for Randy Casey, as you can hear, the crowd going wild transition. Feeds it over to Pete. He goes baseline, and Pete's got a lay in and a foul. Trent Pete going back to the charity strike. And that's what we saw from him.